people should listen to the zip code plays to find out more about Los Angeles in a dramatic way. You can find out about Los Angeles in many different ways, but it's a great intro to be a fly on the wall in people's lives and in their uh, most dramatic or comic moments. Not only, you know, hear a compelling story and uh, follow a journey of people, but at the same time, learn about a neighbor. Hi, I'm Alex Goldberg, a playwright who wrote The Six Pianos of Miradero, which is part of the Zip Code Play series at Antaeus Theatre Company. If you'd like to hear more, please listen to this conversation. So following the first season of the radio plays, and the theater company would have events, uh, salons, where they would do a listening party, and then they'd have a panel and discuss the play and that sort of thing. And following the first panel... Uh, a woman named Arlene Vidor uh, approached me via email, and she is one of the uh, board members or trustees of the theater company, and she's also a, a Glendale historian. And she said, well, you know, we're, the theater's in Glendale. We'd love to have a Glendale story. And I knew right away, you know, she's the perfect person to talk about it uh, with. And so I said, you, you tell me some ideas, tell me some stories that are uh, uh, important to Glendale history. And I would be happy to dramatize it. And so for months, she and I went back and forth and she had some ideas and all of her ideas were very good story ideas. Um, but some of them either didn't resonate with me or weren't my story to tell. Uh, and, you know, the different stories are uh, about different people and I won't get into that. But like some stories aren't for me to be the playwright for. But this one about... Um, Leslie Brand, who was one of the city's founders, and what happens right after he passes away, it really hit hit me. And I said, "Oh, I I, I know how the story is going to work. I know how uh, we can increase the dramatic stakes in the short format, and I know how we will, uh, uh, you know, make it exciting. And I also understand these characters, and I I feel for all of them, which is important when you write. You have to, you know, put yourself in every character shoes." So The Six Pianos of Miro Adero tells the story of Leslie Brand. He is one of the real-life city founders of Glendale. He, the city existed, but it was basically a small farming community. He moved here, saw the potential, not just for the city and the, the beautiful area that he loved, but also the potential for him to get extremely stupid rich. And uh, he did just that. He bought huge tracts of land. He brought commerce to Glendale, brought uh, railway lines, brought water, brought electricity, and then started selling off his land into subdivisions, became uh, enormously wealthy. Um, and when he passed away, uh, he wound up leaving most of his estate to the city of Glendale, uh, most notably the Brand Library, which was his house at the time. It was called uh, El Miradero. Uh, huge house on a hill. If you haven't seen it, look it up and you can, you'll recognize it. Anyone who lived in LA and knows Glendale sees it sitting on the hill. Um, so it also learned in my research about him that uh, he was a bigamist. He was married uh, and then married a second time when he got uh, a younger woman pregnant. So I guess in his mind, uh, bigamy is less of a crime than having a bastard child. So he wound up marrying uh, two women. And so this is a story about the reading of the will after he passes. And the people present at the will reading are the lawyer and his two wives who discover each other's who they are early on in the story. It's always a joy working with Antaeus because they bring together such wonderful people. Uh, I had known uh, Lisa Dring for uh, about a year. I had actually met her during the pandemic, so I never met her in person, but uh, I witnessed her uh, do some script analysis of another script. I uh, hired her to do some work on one of my scripts, and then this opportunity came up and said, I want her to direct because she is truly a captain. Uh, all directors have to be able to completely run the room. And it's very difficult for these radio plays because the rehearsal process is so quick. So once she was on board, I was very happy. And then, you know, it's such a joy to go to the theater and have that meeting where you discuss casting. You have like a list of so many wonderful actors, like five to seven people that could easily jump into these roles. And we agreed on our first choices. Um, Kitty Swink uh, plays Mary Louise Brand. Uh, she's a, uh, one of the former artistic directors of the theater uh, and just a, a powerhouse of an actor. Peter James Smith is uh, one of my favorite actors that I've ever 
watched, let alone worked with. Um, he's been involved uh, in and out with the theater company for years. Um, he uh, was on uh, the West Wing. He was one of the staffers. So he you know, was in 75 or 60 episodes of the West Wing. And Alex Helquist rounds out our uh, uh, triangle of actors. And she is just a fearless person. And when I was writing the script, I actually had her in mind because there were some emotional twists um, that happened on a dime and not many people could do that convincingly. And I knew she could. So having those three actors, having the director, just a great all-star team and we were ready to go. What I would like audiences to take from this play is that with every empire that is built, with every great city or great uh, buildings that, that rise up, it, it comes um, at the sacrifice of many people. And those people often go unrecognized. You will know they always say history is written by the victors. And that is true. You know, we have Brand Boulevard in Glendale, which he literally named after himself. That wasn't named in his honor. He named it that. And he's got this building named after him and he did so much. But you don't hear about the people who sacrifice for that dream and for that vision. Uh, and I wanted to highlight a story about two women in his life uh, who did just that. And they had to put aside... Uh, maybe their dreams or ambitions um, so he could get his. I enjoy listening to all of the zip code plays because in this short play format, you're instantly immersed in a different neighborhood. And when the audio is done well, and with Jeff Gardner, it always is, right away, you can tell a little bit where you are by what you're hearing. Are you hearing highways? Are you hearing ocean? Are you hearing, you know, uh, urban cityscape? Uh, and which urban cityscape are you hearing? You know, there's there's so many different sounds of Los Angeles, just like there are so many different neighborhoods. So that's what I want to do is be immersed right away into a story about people that I don't know, but I want to get to know them. Theater companies like Antius are extremely important to the local artistic scene. Every city has theater companies and they're the heart. Arts are, are the heart and soul of any city. And it's always the same when, when cities grow is there's a vibrant arts community and then it draws people in. People come in and they go to the theater and they go to the restaurant next door. And so that restaurant benefits and they, you know, they uh, uh, go to a, a bar afterwards and that sort of thing. It, you know, theater not only employs people and creates great art, but it helps to foster community. LA is made up of, as we see in the zip code plays, dozens of small communities. And if you look not even too hard, you'll see that in most of these communities, there is a live performance scene and support it. You don't have to go too far. You don't have to sit in traffic. Although I would say some of the, uh, not all of them, but some of them like Antius are worth sitting in traffic for. Hi, I'm Alex Goldberg, and I'm a playwright. I wrote The Six Pianos of Miradero, which is part of the Zip Code Plays radio series at a TS Theater Company. All three seasons of the Zip Code Plays series, which are short plays set in different Los Angeles zip codes, are available, and they're available for free.